Today we are going to talk about two very important biology words. Very important, if you don't remember these words, we're not going to do well this semester. So just, let's talk about them. The first one is species. Although many birds look similar, they can only be the same species if they can make babies together. So the first two blanks, they can only be the same species if they make baby together. I'm going to go through the blanks and I'm going to try and tell you when I'm filling a blank. So basically, if two birds can't make a baby together, then they're definitely not the same species. And just so you know, breeding, that's the next blank, is when two animals are able to reproduce. So if animals cannot breed, then they cannot be the same species. So now look at that check for understanding question. It says, and I want you to read this on your paper as I read it aloud. After finishing the first two check marks, pause the video and answer the following question. Two birds are brought from very different places, and a human tries to breed them. The birds look very different, but the two birds successfully reproduce and make a baby bird. Are these two birds the same species? Why or why not? Answer the question by filling in the blanks below. So in the blank, it says these two birds, either they are or they are not. Either fill in that the two birds are the same species, or the two birds are not the same species, and get, tell me why. So now pause the video and tell me why or why not. So you're filling in that third and fourth blank. Why, why or why not in that check for understanding question, why or why not are they, are they the same species? So are those two birds that they talk about in the check for understanding section, are they the same species or are they different? The next important word is the word organism. There are two types of things in the world. There are things that are living and there are things that are dead. An organism is a living thing. That's the next blank. An organism is a living thing. Organisms can be as small as a cell or as big as a humpback whale. Just to review, an organism, and this is the next blank, organisms can, organisms can be as small as a cell or as big as a humpback whale. There are four things that all organisms have in common. There are four things that all organisms have in common. The first one is that all organisms have cells. So no matter how big or how small an organism is, a living thing, it has to have a cell. The next thing is that all organisms have a need for energy. Just like these people need energy to run, all organisms have a need for energy. That's the next blank. The next blank after that, all organisms respond to their environments. Just like this kid is sweating, it's a response to his, to his environment because like it's been in California lately, it's been pretty hot. And when it's hot, people sweat, and so all organisms respond to their environment. The last example is that all organisms must be able to pass on their DNA. This is a picture of DNA. All organisms must be able to pass on their DNA, and that is what all organisms have in common.